Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about a couple new figures from Mattel. This time it is from the um, Mattel Multiverse line, the Shazam movie, um, Shazam and Dr. Uh, Savannah figures. So, yeah, overall, um, it's pretty nice to see that they are doing a multiverse line for uh, the Shazam movie. I really kind of, I wasn't sure if they were going to do it, you know, because uh, it's it comes out in just a couple months and we had no images of it yet. Um, so to see it here is quite neat. Apparently these are actually like in-store images, like it's it's actually come out in a couple places, uh, which is very cool. I'm sure during Toy Fair, which starts uh, very soon, um, we'll probably get a full look at the line. I'm not sure if it's just these two toys or if there will be like a full wave. Uh, from what we can see, just of the front of the packages, it doesn't look like there's a build a figure, which is disappointing. Um, you know, I don't know, like, if Shazam, the wave itself, like, has somebody who could be a great build a figure, but just for me personally, I enjoy the concept of a build a figure, and I would have really liked to build a figure in this wave. Nonetheless, though, the two figures that they did show look pretty decent. Um, the first one is obviously Shazam. Face sculpt wise, um, I like the expression first of all. Like I like the little bit of a smirk and the eyebrow cocked. You know, I think that that definitely um, fits uh, the look for that character. Uh, how it actually like d does the face actually look like the actor? Eh, it's it's okay at best, I guess. Um, for Mattel, it's it's fine. Uh, you know, they don't have great head sculpts anyway. Um, but uh, they are stepping up their game, and they, it definitely looks like it's stepped up a bit. So uh, the head sculpt, I'm pretty okay with. I don't know if a lot of people are gonna just hate it or not, but I think the expression fits the character, and then the face sculpt is good enough for Mattel, basically. The costume itself looks quite nice, as you can see that there's some great detail throughout all the red sections of it. Uh, the chest is, is a kind of a plain uh, yellow. Would have liked it to be like outlined in white or had white in the center or something to make it look like it was actually like lit up and not just painted yellow. Um, and then the gold detailing looks really nice. It's not a bright, stupid gold. It's, it's a nice uh, kind of subdued gold, which I think looks good, um, and he comes with multiple hands, two fists, two hands for holding something, although he comes with nothing to hold, uh, which, so, those are kind of throwaway ones in my opinion, and then two kind of opened, uh, almost saluting hands, which can be used for the flight poses, of course. The cape looks pretty nice from what we can see, but it's a little hard to see it there, and yeah. And then we have the villain, uh, the villain... You know, I'm like I'm a big villains fan in particular. Usually, when a superhero movie comes out, the villain is the thing that I'm most looking forward to about the movie. Um, that is not the case with Shazam. I, I have I really don't know anything about this villain from the comics, and anything that we've seen of him in the movie does not look too interesting, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, it, you know, and it, the actor who's playing him is so, he, he plays a villain so often that, like, I know exactly what I'm going to get with him. You know, he's not a bad actor, but it's just he does the same thing over and over with, with these villain characters. So, personally, I'm not super excited for this villain, but since it is a villain, uh, you know, I, I definitely will be more interested in getting this figure, basically just to kind of put him with my DCU villain collection. Uh, but uh, the figure itself looks pretty decent. Head sculpt-wise, looks okay. It's on par with the, uh, the other Shazam one, um, you know. I would have liked to see them go a little bit more extreme on that uh, right eye, because as you can see on the picture on the box, his right eye is very cool. It's almost like it's lit up a bit. It's got this uh, nice blue with a white in the center, almost like a blue eye with a white pupil, and then it has a big scar on it. Um, but looking at the picture here, you can barely tell that his eye is different. So I wish that they went a little bit more extreme with that eye um, and uh, and made it really pop. And it looks like they did the reverse. It looks like they went with a blue pupil with a white outline when it, it based on the picture on the box it should be the other way around so overall I hope that in person it looks a little bit more different uh, because here this just looks like uh, Lex Luthor in a new set of clothes you know um, and then he does come with a second head sculpt which is nice but it's, it's just him with shades on I would have preferred it to be like a different expression um, like I like the idea of giving one head sculpt without uh, sunglasses and one head sculpt with them uh, but when they do that when they're so similar to each other I want one to have a different expression so the one uh, so either one of them to have like an angry expression would have been really cool. Instead they're both very plain, very just dead faced. And then he comes with an eight ball. I don't know what that's about if he like if that has any power to it or if it's just something that like uh, the villain has is like a, a little thing that he does he asks it questions or he flips it up in the air you know usually they give um, villains or sometimes detectives uh, in movies particularly like 90s movies uh, just just a little like thing to play with whether it's like a lighter just to be flipping or something uh, so I feel like um, in a joking fashion, they probably gave him that to, to make him seem very 90s, because he seems 90s anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think that that, 
I, you know, I'll be very interested to see what that's all about in the movie. And then he comes with a pair of fists and a pair of like uh, hands that can be used to like show his power or to be holding the eight ball. Um, I would have liked him to come with a couple blast effects. That would be really cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, overall he does. He looks like a nice figure to be perfectly honest. Um, but I really wish that we could see the back of the box. Uh, there's no back of the box image, um, but it would be nice to see it just so we know if there's any more people in this series. Uh, and I mean, it's pretty obvious that there's no build a figure piece. Because uh, if there was a build a figure piece, they'd be putting it like in the um, uh, they'd be putting it like here. There's no way it's like hiding behind this thing. So I'm pretty sure there's no build a figure, but there certainly can be more figures in this wave. Um, if there are a few toy companies that have leaked uh, some images of their figures and that you know they show a, a pretty big spoiler in the movie I would say if you haven't seen it yet I won't spoil it for you um, but just so you know there are certainly a lot more characters that they could be making in the series so I wouldn't be surprised if there's more characters but I also wouldn't be surprised if it's just the hero and the villain you know uh, but overall I'm I'm these actually look like two decent figures uh, th these definitely look like they're on the um, quality scale of, of the Aquaman figures, which were pretty good. Uh, they're not as good as Marvel Legends, but they're pretty darn close, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah, uh, but I am looking forward to both of these. Uh, blast effects with both of them would have been uh, very necessary, I think, especially since there's no Build-A-Figure piece with either of them. But there you go, that's my thoughts on the two new Shazam figures from the Mattel Multiverse line. Let me know what you guys think of them, and thanks so much for watching.